So good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to day two of our WE Amsterdam conference. I'm Karen Hording, Executive Director and CEO for the Society, um, and it's my pleasure to welcome you this morning. Um, I'm very excited for our session this morning with our speaker, uh, Peen Janowitz. Um, we got to know Peen, uh, I guess, back when our event was here in 2015. So i um, excited to have her back. She is a coach and trainer at Authentic Leadership, which helps leaders and organizations to unleash their full potential. It is her nature and passion to connect with people, get a clear view on what drives them, help them overcome hurdles to unleash and connect their hidden potential. By connecting head with heart, it is easier to connect with others. As a result, you get happier and more successful and a more effective team. Working for 13 years in various sales management roles at Microsoft provided Peen with the corporate experience which is very useful in understanding the working dynamics of the people and teams she coaches. So with that, take us from mission to vision. Wow. I wrote it myself, but if someone else reads it, it sounds different anyway. Um, can I ask you all to come forward? Because I, this is going to be uh, intimate. I need it to be intimate. So please sit in the front. And I've, uh, the, the people who really dare to sit in the front get a little nice booklet with a pencil. So that's then your present. So it's going to be intimate, and you're going to work. So if you have the feeling, OK, this is way too early, and I'm not about intimate or working, then leave. <laughs> OK, let me start with a question. Who was here last year, not here, in Madrid? Oh, great to have you back. That was with, and were you in this session also with Karina or not? Yes. Yeah? yeah? Wow. Nice. Yes. Nice, to, nice to have you back. Great. Um, Karina and I uh, are both partner at Authentic Leiderschap, which is Authentic Leadership. And today we talk about from mission to vision. Uh, but first I want to tell, because this is about leadership, and I first want to ask a question, who considers himself or herself a leader? Okay, I need all hands raised. So if you're not raised, if you consider yourself as that you make impact to other people with your behavior, do you consider yourself a leader? Are all hands raised? Because my last one was, if you think you have impact on your own behavior, so personal leadership, do you consider yourself a leader? And probably all hands are raised, right? Okay, so we're all on board. We're all leaders. Good. Because that's my... I need that because there's no such thing as being a leader without a mission. Um, so you're at the right spot right now. But don't you worry, you have a mission. Of course you have a mission. But maybe if I ask you now directly, you say, oh, mm -hmm, I have to think about it. And no one will leave this room without a mission today. So that's a good thing. We will really work on your mission because there's no such thing as being a leader without a mission. Because you need a source for your behavior. And if the source of your behavior is revenue targets, KPIs, project planning, whatever, your manager, which is also great and important. But being a leader, you need a mission to be the, the, the guidance of your behavior. Okay. Discover who you are and be that on purpose. This sounds really easy, but living your mission is really hard. It's hard work. That's why I say today, we're going to work really hard. Uh, because every time you have to make a choice. Uh, this is the mission that we have as, uh, as our, our organization, Authentic Leadership. And what is the picture you see? What is it? Sound barrier. Great. Because that's exactly what we're doing. That's exactly what we're doing. Because we're working with barriers. And this one is really nice because usually you don't see it. 
but we made something which is invis or we, not we, the, 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 the guy or woman who made the picture, something which is invisible, visible. But we all have our barriers, right? So the barrier that uh, is reluctant to raise your hands when a question is asked, or the barrier that uh, prevents you from saying something in an important meeting, you might say something stupid. The barrier that prevents you from saying, I love you, to someone that you love because you might get hurt. Or the barrier that prevents you to apply for a job because you might not have the right skills or not good enough at that moment. We all know these barriers, right? Okay. And what we love to do, what really is our mission, is get insight in that, mission, in that barrier, because it's very important to understand it, and then just push it a little bit further. Because the moment you push it a little bit further, more of your potential is, will reveal. So uh, just by pushing away your barriers, you can never get rid of your barriers. So you will always have them. But pushing it a little bit further away from you, more of your potential will be shown to the world. And that is awesome. And that's what we stand for. Okay. My mission, and I love this picture, um, it's, more or less the, it's more about the same. So the beauty of the people, the strength that I see in people, um, and sometimes we just have this bubble around us. And I love to open that bubble so that you can really spread your wings and show your strength and your beauty to the world. Okay. I'm not going to ask yours. <laughs> um, and I'm going to tell you about uh, the mission, and I'm going to use this anecdote about Christmas. And that's a little bit awkward, because we're in mid-spring, and I'm going to t talk about Christmas. But I'm doing it because it's the best story we can imagine to um, express what mission is about. So come along with me. It's about to be Christmas, and you're about to buy a present for this little boy or this little girl that you love tremendously and who still believes in Santa. So. You go to the store, you find something that you know she, he or she really likes, get it nicely wrapped, and you go to the event. It's Christmas Eve. And you're excited with your little present. Uh, you open the door, you see this beautiful Christmas tree, and this big pile of presents underneath. And this moment when no one watches, you slip through this pile, and you put this present on top of the pile. And while you do that, you see a present with your name on it. Interesting. The evening evils. Gifts are opened. And there's two incidents I want to introduce to you. So there's this one moment that you open your present. Wow, great. And there's this moment the child opens the present. Wow, great. Which of these two events give you more pleasure? Gives you a better feeling? The kid. The kid. Who is not agreeing with the kid? <laughs> because then you have a talk with, uh, with, uh, with Karina. Um, so the kid. And why is that? Gives you more joy. Yeah, funny, funny. So let's dive into this. Let's dive into this. So, this is you, right? You see yourself in this uh, image. And uh, this uh, toolbox is the present. And that is the child, nicely uh, dressed up for the event. And uh, you give this present to the child. When did the joy start? When did you find this, this? When did you have this glow on your face with this, for the present for the child? When was it? When did it start? When you find the present. Yeah, exactly. And maybe even when you, oh, I'm going to buy this, right? So it starts quite early that you already have fun. Okay. And then uh, you give the present to this child, and then you see this happy face, this child grows. 
It glows with happiness because this is exactly what it wanted to have. Great. The child says, thank you. Who gets the credit? Santa. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> so, you start, you start being happy way back. You go to the event, you give the present. It gives you more pleasure. Maybe if you get a new iPad Pro, whatever, that might be a discussion. But usually, <laughs> you get, this child gives you the happiness. And you don't even get the credit. The credits go to this funny man with the red cheeks. So that's, that's awesome, right? And just by looking at the child, you also feel happy. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, what mission is about. That is what mission is about, that you give something, because this is what you're doing also in real life. You give something, and then you don't give a present. You give, you give ev even something much more valuable. You give your talent. You give your sense of humor. You give your uh, listening ear. You give your tact. You give your intelligence. You give your know-how. You give whatever to your colleagues, to your manager, to your peers. And you see the other person grow because they feel attended to, listened to, cared for, inspired, whatever. You see them grow. Wow, that is great. So now we're going to work. Yes, chaka. Okay. Uh, so this is you. And now you need your pen and paper. Do we all have pen and paper? There are some booklets here in front. If you and then, uh, and, it, and that is uh, your target group. Uh, so, in the, in the, so that is your child that you love. Because in your target group, let's start with work. Your target group can also be your partner or your, your best friend. But for today, we do work. So your target group is your team, um, uh, your peer, your manager, uh, your colleague, whatever. The person that you love, in a way, not as deeply as maybe this child, but there's a connection with that person. Okay, so that's question number one. Then question number two, and start um, uh, thinking back that you work together with this person and that it was a great moment. So in a collaboration with your target group, think back of one or two great moments. And it can be big moments, that you worked really hard on a huge product, and that you worked day and night, and it was great, and you worked as a team and whatever, but it can also be really small, that you just have a lovely conversation which made the connection better. But either way, you drove home, or you, you, you traveled home with a grin on your face. It's great to look back on great moments, isn't it? Sometimes they are, you need to dust them a bit off, sometimes they happen to just this morning, but it's great to look back on great moments. Okay, we should do that more often anyway. Okay, um, then the third question is, in what did you see the other person grow? So in this collaboration with this other person, what happened to the other person? Was it happy? Was it... Uh, more self-confident? Was it um, opening up? Was it um, getting new energy to work on? What happened with the other person? And then the fourth question is, what was the best you gave? And that is something we find so difficult, because usually it's the obvious one. Yeah, I just listened. But listening is an art. Listening, really listening is really important. I don't know, I just made a joke. I always do that. Humor is also an art. 
So what is it that you gave what made the other person grow? And my invitation is exaggerate. Because we, used to, we tend to make ourselves a little bit smaller. Make it huge. And um, I'm now going to ask to talk with your neighbor and help each other a bit with these last two questions. So what is the growth that you see? So talk, have a chat. Open up. That's why it's intimate. Open up and um, work on this. So that you really get some nice things at what growth did you see and where did you see what was the best that you gave. And Karina will help. Ik heb geen tijd. Ik heb geen tijd. Hartstikke goed.
Okay. How was this? How was this? Who wants to... Um... Challenging. Challenging? <laughs> Why? Yeah. So I come to the same conclusion. I just participate. I just, I just pitched in. Oh, I'm sorry. I just pitched in and I just... I didn't do anything differently. I just worked what I think I ought to be doing and that was my participation. Do more people recognize that? That it's really difficult to describe what is it that you gave. <laughs> yeah. And it's a funny thing. And, and I'm going to be quite serious about this. Um, because it's really important to understand what you give. And, uh, and you know. And you know, but it needs to be dusted. There's a lot of, I don't know, stuff on top of that. Uh, and it's usually the very small things. Talk with your best friend. Or imagine what you think of your best friend. And you come up with, she is warm, or she gives... I don't know, I can laugh with her. It's usually the very small things which are really important, or just that you feel connected. And why do you feel connected? Because someone listens. And that's, uh, so it's the small things that really matter. Also with you, uh, Eddie, it's, it's your, it's, uh, well, love is a complex word in the work environment, but it's, it is that. It's the love that you have for your work, the passion that you give to someone to, to want someone to help and to grow. So it's, it's in the small things. Okay, we're going a step further, because now if everything is all right and, you, and, 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 and it worked out a bit, there are some words at three and there are some words at question four. Is that all right? Do we have some words or maybe one or two words? Everyone is looking away now, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, we go forward, because now you can make like this sentence, which is already a very nice first draft of a mission. So if you do, I give, and that is the answer to question one, the target group, so my colleague or my uh, manager or my peer, the best you have to give, that is the answer uh, for the question four, so that they, and then, the answer to question three. So you can now compile with the words that you just write down, wrote down, you can now compile a first draft of your mission. And we're going to share it. <coughs> so you better write something down right now. <laughs> so some people hiding again, no hiding in this session. And it's a, it's a first draft, but how awesome. This morning, you didn't have a clue, and now suddenly you have a first draft of your mission. And we're going to share it, and I will explain why it's important to share it. Because if you say it out loud, something happens with you. So, uh, who wants to try? Okay, one minute more.
Okay, Karina has a mic. So uh, we had someone here and someone there. Who wants to share? Yes. There you go. Some reluctance, but uh, <laughs> I give guidance and support to new starters so they can succeed. Uh, again, again, I didn't hear. Maybe stand up. What you stand up. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come please. On, come on, come on. I really want to yeah. hear it. There's someone who wants to share her mission with you. Not really. Not really. Uh, I give guidance and support to new starters so they can succeed. Wow, guidance and support to new starters so that they can succeed. Excellent. Thanks. Guidance and support. Great. Who wants? Oh, there. There's already. Yeah. Okay. I give project team. Uh, the team collaboration, so we passed a go live with Oracle with success. And what is it that you give? I implement an Oracle and yeah, with, and a t with, a, with a group. So I, I give the team collaboration. Oh, you give collaboration. Yes. All right, wonderful. Okay, thanks. And then uh, she also wanted to... Uh, great, thank you. I give my team confidence and support that with time, they will build up their experience to be an expert in their role. Wow, nice. How is it for you to have such a mission? Is it? It's really, I'm, a, I'm a new manager. Yeah. So I, I just want to. I guess I'm really new at managing people, um, and I'm really passionate about building and promoting and developing them. Right. So I hope that that will stay with me and that I don't see that disintegrate to some managers that maybe I've seen that in the past. Yeah. So, so this comes at the right time, right? Yeah. Excellent. And for you, how is that for you? Sorry. How is that for you to have a mission, a first draft of a mission? Difficult, on the Difficult at the first time because yeah. we have um, we work with uh, Indian, Russian, Fran French people. So it's difficult to communicate, but at the end, a very good team collaboration. So great. It's, it's great experience. Great, <laughs> good to hear. So who, wanna, who else wants to share? Um, I gave my team the drive, focus, and integrity required so they could feel pride in the work we accomplish. Wow, again, what did you give? Integrity, I heard. And uh, drive, focus, integrity. It was a very specific task that we did. Wow, very good. It was important at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Great, and I see a big uh, smile on your face. Great. Anyone, uh, anyone else who wants to share? Okay. Great, thanks for sharing. That is something you didn't expect to have done this morning, right? Okay. Um, for your mission, it's a first draft, right? We just made it in 15 minutes now, not even. Uh, but if you like it, and if you want to work more on it, it's great to make a mission also for other target groups, for your family, or for a different target group at work, for your best friends. And then the fun thing is, if you then look between your eyelashes to the words you've written down, there's like this red line. Oh, so that is what I give. And oh, and that is what I then happens to the other person and how we get connected. So if you want to work on it, love to do so and, um, and uh, use it more often in other target groups. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. This was the slide for sharing. Uh, okay. We, uh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, we promised to go from mission to vision. So now that we have a first draft of our mission, um, we can work on vision. And mission and vision, your personal mission and vision, are um, very much connected, like on this, uh, on this uh, image. And uh, what we'll do for mission, and that's uh, for vision, and that's why mission is so important, is we're going to dream a bit. Look what a lovely slide. We're going to dream a bit, because imagine what happens, and you already do that, but that you live your mission every day. And you do it already, of course, even you're not realizing it. But what happens if this afternoon, tomorrow, Monday at work, you use your mission also 
at those moments that you have this little barrier. Just those moments that you think, I'm not saying anything at this meeting but because it might be stupid. Think back about, yes, but my mission is I want to collaborate. Or my mission is I want to be... Uh, um, I have the Dutch word. What was your, uh, the, that you gave? Integrity. I want to give integrity. Of course, if you take that in your mind, of course you will say something in a meeting. Of course you will give feedback to your colleague. Of course you say, I love you to the person that you love. Of course you do. Do you understand what I'm saying? So your mission also helps you those moments that you're in this bubble or that you feel this barrier for not doing something, that it helps you to step forward. Do you get that? Exactly, and it's not easy. I'm not saying that now you wrote down your mission, you're already doing it. But it's about understanding when you are at this, at the edge of the comfort zone. Shall I apply for the job or not? Shall I raise my hand or not? Shall I give feedback or not? At that moment, if you then think about your mission, what is it that I really want? Then you will notice that you will probably step, make this step outward and say, okay, let's do it. Because that's something that you really want. And that's something that you want to have guidance in, in your life. So imagine now, and that's what this dream... Did, do you get it? Did I answer appropriately? Yes. Yeah. Um, so imagine now. So for tomorrow you live your mission. You do it uh, next Monday, Tuesday, next week, next month. Imagine you do that for the coming five years. For the coming five years, you will live your mission. So every time, uh, in happy moments, but also in the moments that are difficult, you think back of what is it that I really want, what is it that I'm really good at, what is it that I want to give to the other person, and you do that. So just imagine, and dream on a bit, where you will be the 22nd of May, the 19th of May, that's today, of 2022. That's in five years' time. Where will, be, where will you be at? So think about, look at it as like a picture that you make of yourself. So what is the title of that picture? What is the work environment you're in? What do your colleagues look like? What is the position that you have in your job? What is it that really makes you happy at that moment in time? Just dream. Dream a little bit. Close your eyes. Look down inside yourself. And make this fantastic movie where you will be in five years' time. Your your, it's your personal movie. Personal. Yeah. So what is the title of your personal movie? And you're the hero. You're the protagonista of this, of this lovely movie. There's people coming in and they say, what is this session? Everyone is silent.
Of course. And you will do it, I know. <laughs> Of course you will. <laughs> In a minute. Okay, I want to have beautiful pictures and dreams. And the fun thing is, if you say them al out loud, the chance that it becomes true rises with 70% or so. Scientifically proven. <laughs> so it's really important. I see people leaving. It's <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. I'm making a joke. <laughs> it's so, um, so we, we're going to share again. So, um, and, it's, and it's your journey, and it's a dream, and how great it is. How, many t how much time do we spend usually on dreaming? So it's really good that we have some moments to dream, right? Okay, so, it's uh, my Outlook layout. It's uh, the 19th of May, 2022, and uh, we're here together at SWE. And um, you're going to present what you're at? Yeah, of course. Of course, <laughs> of course you do that. Maybe you want yeah. to stand a little bit in front. Oh, okay. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think so. Um, I'm actually not sure where I will be, but... No one I, is. I have, a, I have these pictures in, in mind in which I help people. Wow. There are people counting on me. And, um, and they come to me not because they need me, they depend on me, but because we grow together. And I hope that they feel involved and uh, maybe not every day, but I think that the, the thing that would make me happier is that uh, they come with um, problems, with issues, and I would not know how, to, f how to, to find a solution without them also. So wow. that, that's, that's the picture I have in mind. <laughs> what a lovely picture. I, it, <laughs> it touches me. It's great. Thank you. Okay. What a lovely picture. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward. Who wants to share? You. Come. So you're really pushing the boundaries, huh? Yes. <laughs> I want it to be true. <laughs> so um, uh, I... I thought about my professional uh, life and yeah. the dream is about that. So um, the title is uh, Pinar the Dream Manager. <laughs> I sound really silly, right? <laughs> so I pictured myself in an office with a group of engineers that are uh, working very happily and very motivated wow. and passionately so that we are making the difference for our customers in Turkey. And I got this content feeling that uh, I made this environment possible for them. Wow. Wow. Great. Thanks. Oh, lovely. I want more. I love this. Who wants? Should I come up front? So? Go, yes, here, please. This is kind of nerve-wracking. Drum. <laughs> we need drums. <laughs> Okay, I, I kind of approached it differently because I, I think where I'm coming from will help me professionally. Um, my title is Mind Over Matter. And wow, it, my life matter. No, Mind Over Matter. Oh, so, okay. wonderful. Um, and basically it's me learning to let go of the stuff that doesn't matter because I tend to carry a lot of emotional baggage and it really affects me. And in five years' time, I'm now going to be surrounded by people who genuinely care for me Wow. They don't drain me emotionally, and I know that that is going to let me move forward personally and professionally in a massive, massive way. Wow, wonderful. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. Great. Okay, we do two more. Who wants? Yeah, please come over. I 
que se ahogar por el reflejo or walking in front of everybody. <laughs> so I took a different approach on the work sort of thing. So my title is I'm the boss of me. So <laughs> good. So, so where I wanna be? Uh, my own office, and preferably white with a splash of color. Uh, it's my own company. I'm not working for anybody. I just want to make that clear. <laughs> That's why I'm the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry, comments, people. Um, so the people around me are quite creative, busy, motivated, and they, they are the own bosses as the well. I don't have to tell them to do stuff, they just go ahead and do it. So that's how the people are around me. And uh, the last question was, uh, what is that that makes you at the best at the moment? I guess for me it's independence and control. Wow, okay, great. Thank you very much. What a lovely picture, the last one. And I know you're all wanted, but it's this barrier so who wants to use his mission to overcome the barrier and otherwise we continue? One, very last. I want to understand this. Why is this? Okay, I will tell you why I'm not asking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm interested in others. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's a very good reason, because I also love to hear other missions. But the fun thing is that you live, that, that it's at the end, and of course you have your own, but at the end you are the hero in your own picture. Don't want to share? Okay. <laughs> You're not only watching other movies, right? You also want to see your own. Of course. So, my movie would be called Make It Part of Your Life. So, I would like to uh, be a leader of the team that works uh, constantly together. People are not changing every two weeks in the team. And uh, uh, we are in contact with customer. And uh, uh, the uh, mission for me is not to make them to do it, I just would like to motivate them so they may be in the work how long as you wish, as, as they wish. However, not too much because I understand they have their lives. So I would like to make the work be part of their lives, not the concurrence for their lives. Yeah. So they feel an inner motivation to work. Yeah, exactly. Wow, thanks. That is brave, right? Yeah. That is brave. Not wanting to do it and doing it. How does it feel? What? That you did it? Oh, that's normal for me. That's normal for you. Oh, oh it's normal for you. How was it for how was it for you to share? Yeah, in the end I feel a bit relieved. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been pushed a bit. So. But sometimes you need to push yourself a bit outside because then you, you, you just make this small step out of your comfort zone. And the fun thing is, stepping out of your comfort zone is always comes together with, with sweaty hands and, 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 and belly ache, right? But the fun thing is that once you do it, you feel relieved or you get energy or... I'm fine, thanks. Or you get energy and you, you uh, want to do it again. It's addictive once you start doing that. Okay, lovely to, how was this? Well, we come to, not, to my, this is my last slide. So we open up the discussion right now. And uh, maybe that is difficult for some people, but uh, you will do your best, I know. Because I want to, I really want to understand what, why did we do this? I mean, I know why we did, why we did this, because this is what we believe in, that once you understand what your mission is, and you understand how it helps you to overcome these this small barriers or these big barriers. And if we come together as a group like this and we spread this just by doing it, I mean, this is actually what we call authentic. Uh, we believe that it's um, contagious. We believe that if you do it, 
your team will do it, start doing it, your peers start doing it, your friends start doing it. So it's contagious, and they're already doing it, but doing it more often. So that's why we do this, and we love to do it. Uh, but I also want to hear back. So we, d we did just made two small exercises. We made a mission and a vision. What will you take out from here? What, I what is it? How was this? Thank you. Well, um, it's great to hear this, and I think I will take this uh, item of uh, looking back at great moments into my monthly meeting with my directs to flash back on great moments. Uh, vision is a bit hard for me, but uh, it's personally hard for me because I like everything, so I don't know where I go. Also the reason why I'm not going to say something. But uh, yeah, the great moments, I really will take it back to my leader and also to my directs just to have a five minute moment to flash back on a previous month. Wow. And that is so important that you do that. Because um, what we often forget is to celebrate our successes. Or we don't even consider it as a success. But it's just, it's also a physical thing that if you think back of great moments, there's new connections made in your head. It's really true. It really works like that. So the moment you start thinking back of, wow, that was oh, that, and that was good also, it, it might be small, but connections are made to your brain that helps you to do it again and to be more open and use your perspective in a, in a more positive way. So great. What a great thing if you take that back. I'm already happy now. Uh, okay, who else wants? What will you take from here? Um, I thought the, the first thing was very powerful. I don't know how I came up with the sentence I came up with, but it was really quite powerful. Yeah. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that and, and maybe try that with my team. Um, and the second one, I wasn't able to write. Okay. And it made me realize something, which is that I'm in a job which I love right now. So the idea of thinking of something different in five years' time is very difficult, but at the same time I know that I love change yeah. and that if I'm in the same job in five years' time, it won't be right. So it was a, quite a difficult moment yeah. because I can't... I don't want to dream out of the thing I'm in now, which is very much... I love my job. And so how great is that? Yeah. It's great, but at the yeah. same time, it, I, I know I've got a problem in, if I'm still in it in five years' time. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. been very thought-provoking. Very, great. very powerful. Thank you. Very welcome. And it's great to have your mission because it will help you anyway. Yeah. Also to change. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks. Who else? Is this inspiring? For me, it's inspiring to hear others. Is that also for you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So, um, <clears throat> oh, I like that. So the engineer in me likes the fact that I have a very easy formula for mission. Yeah. The corporate person in me likes the fact that I have a very easy way now of doing a mission on a PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the person in me likes the fact that I can actually have a personal mission that can be mushy, can be whatever I want it to be, but it can also be mine. Wow. Thanks. Thanks. Who else? Do we have? So um, what I will take out of this, I think it's a very good reminder, yeah, of, of getting, of looking at yourself and really what's important for you. Because actually what I see in my professional life a lot, which is a shame, is people work so hard. They work and work and work. And they wait for their managers or their peers to help them yeah, and to promote them, for example. Yeah, which will never happen. You have to try it yourself. And I think this is a very, very good reminder to have this really, really articulated for ourselves in a very clear way and just stick with it yeah, okay. and position it. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, shall we do a last one? Uh, so for me, it was quite important because uh, I forgot about something that was uh, 
very important for me in the past. I love really work with people, the teamwork and the feeling that we are doing something great. And when working on uh, on daily basis, we are so focused on targets, on some specific uh, dates, uh, functions, that we forgot about this feeling. And simply getting back to this, that this is what all about these great moments yeah. when we really feel that we want something, that that we win something, that the, we have great future, this is, this is, I believe, the best. And it's different way to motivate, our, motivate ourselves and our team. And I believe that I should not forget about this. So thank you. Great, thanks. It is? Yeah. Well, there's nothing, I cannot say it any better than this, actually. Um, so I want to wrap up and I want to thank you. Pardon? You're it's spicy, so I yeah, like uh, chicken, bo chicken, ch chicken skin, we say, <laughs> in uh, goosebumps. Yeah. yeah, nice. And why is that? She touches you, yeah, yeah. That's what happens when you start talking about mission. That is so funny. And that is, and again, and that is what authentic means, is that you really make connection with yourself, and through that you make connection to other people. I want to thank you all very much for your openness, for your hard work. And um, we brought books. I'm, I'm not sure, I don't... But if you're interested, because there's a book which is called Authentic Leadership, which is from our organization, and we sell them. They're English for 10 euros. Uh, so if you're interested, and uh, Karine and I will st stick a little bit longer, but there's new sessions now straight, straight after this one. So have, uh, have fun. And I want to thank you for your uh, collaboration and your openness for today. Thank you.